Hi, second graders. Welcome to our very first virtual school counseling lesson of the year. Um, if you were able to join me for our live session, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are not able to, this is a recording of what we covered. So it's, it's almost like being there too. Um, we are watching and discussing class dojo videos um, as part of our first quarter activities. So I'm going to screen share so you can watch our first class dojo video of the year. Um, and we'll talk about it as we go. So let me share the screen with our video. And here we go. Chapter one, Mojo discovers a secret about his brain. A secret that will change the way he looks at the world forever. Our story begins with Mojo, a friendly monster who loved school, especially math. Until one day, when something terrible happened. The math problems got harder. Nothing made sense anymore. Mojo had a devastating thought. He just wasn't smart enough for school. It seemed the only reasonable thing to do was pack his things and leave forever. Just then, he heard his friend Katie laughing. Mojo, you can't just give up, she said. I have no choice, Katie, said Mojo. You're either born smart or you're not. And I realize today that I'm not. Mojo, that's not how it works, said Katie. Anyone can be smart. You just have to work at it. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, said Mojo. It's not ridiculous, it's science, said Katie. Neuroscientists studied the brain for years and discovered an incredible secret, that your brain is like a muscle. When you try challenging things, like those hard math problems, you're giving your brain the exercise it needs to get stronger, which makes you smarter. Ooh, is that really true? said Mojo. Of course, said Katie. It's like how when you were a baby, you didn't know how to talk. But you kept trying, exercising your brain, until one day, you could. Mojo! Mojo couldn't believe what he was hearing. If your brain was really like a muscle, did that mean anyone could become smarter? Even him? He turned to ask Katie, but just then, she had to be off to her next class. But maybe you can answer Mojo's question. What do you think? Can Mojo become smarter? What about you? Hmm, now that's an interesting question indeed. Well, I hope you enjoyed our very first class dojo video. Um, the topic was your mind is like a muscle. And I've got a couple questions to ask um, about the video. Question, the first part, why does Mojo want to leave school? Do you remember why? Yeah, because he doesn't feel smart. Things are hard for him. Can you sometimes relate to how Mojo was feeling? Do you ever feel like something is difficult for you or challenging for you or get a little frustrated? I know I do sometimes. Do you think Mojo can become smarter? Why or why not? I think he can. What do you think? I think he can become smarter by working hard, by using effort. The more you work, the harder you work, the smarter you can become. That's my thought anyway. What subject do you feel frustrated by sometimes? And then how might you get better at that subject? For me, when I was growing up, math was something that, that frustrated me sometimes. It was not something I naturally got or was easy for me. The only way I got better at math was I needed to keep practicing. I practiced my facts over and over again. I used flashcards. I wrote dry erase. Um, my, my family helped quiz me. I would challenge myself with little quizzes. I had to keep practicing to get better at those skills. And I have gotten better. What is difficult for you? And how can you get better at it? 
um, I hope you enjoyed the video. We will resume additional videos as the year goes on, as our quarter goes on. Thank you for watching. Um, I miss you. I hope you're doing well, and I can't wait to see you soon.